Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. We have left Helper, Utah and are on our way to Moab, Utah. The landscape as we left Helper, Utah on the way to Moab, Utah. To the left is Arches National Park. Please click the link below for our Arches video. We will be crossing the Colorado River with the bridge straight ahead. Driving through downtown Moab as we are making our way to Canyonlands. A few weeks earlier, our oldest daughter and her partner came here to Moab to drive off-road vehicles. Our oldest daughter and her partner came here to Moab to drive off-road vehicles. Then they rode mountain bikes. Wow, look at the view they had. The arrow 
and the writing says hole in the rock. It looks like it is a tourist stop. Over there is Wilson's Arch. Can you see two people standing on top of the arch? Two very brave souls. Moving on towards Canyonlands. The sign says we have 12 miles to go to get to Newspaper Rock and 34 miles to go to get to Canyonlands. We have arrived at Newspaper Rock. View across from Newspaper Rock. Newspaper Rock is a petroglyph panel etched in sandstone that records approximately 2,000 years of early human activity. In interpreting the figures on the rock, Scholars are undecided as to their meaning or have yet to decipher them. In Navajo, the rock is called Tse Hane, rock that tells a story. Continuing to make our way to Canyon Lands. Canyon Lands is vast. It has two entrances, the north and the south, and the entrances are not connected. Map of Canyon Lands from the south entrance. The red color is where it is drivable. These rock formations make us think of Ladyfinger Cake. Close up look at the rocks. We did not stop at this stopover. We will keep driving. Interesting two pointy rocks or hill formations. We have arrived at the visitor center. This is how vast Canyonlands is. Checking out the wooden shoe arch. Driving past Slick Rock Foot Trail. It is also the end of the road. a parking spot and got out to explore. This confluence trail is 10 miles round trip. Yikes, not with this heat.
finding some shade from our RV. When our oldest daughter visited Canyonlands a few weeks earlier, they visited this Mesa Arch. Heading out. Our next stop is Canyonlands North entrance. Views of Canyonlands on our way out. To get to Canyonlands North entrance, we have to drive through Moab, Utah. Have to watch out for cows grazing near the road. Made it to Canyonlands North entrance. Can you see the people walking over there? It's too hot for us to walk out there. We are appreciating the beauty from our cool RV. Continuing on. This is the Grand Viewpoint Overlook. The top layer of the canyons is white. To the right of the grand view. On the way out, we stop at Buck Canyon Overlook. This is Schaefer Canyon Viewpoint. Check out the road down there. leaving Canyonlands North Entrance. We are heading back to Moab, Utah. 